Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Cancer, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Cancer Spirit, what does Cancer need to know? Three cards for Cancer and three cards for their person. And then three cards for the mutual energy. Cancer Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, mutual Energy Spirit. Okay. Bottom of my deck. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody is uh, maybe trying to move on. I, uh, one person is very discontent saying, I never received the offer I wanted. This connection was built on unstable ground. It's already kind of disintegrated and uh, I'm listening to my intuition now I think it's time to move on the other person now could be missing that person could be missing them could be fantasizing about them uh, f feeling that they I don't know uh, let's see I'm gonna of course clarify all these cards for you one by one cancer but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I'll clarify these Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person spirit. Okay, let's take a few more from another deck. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Just a few more from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Cancer and their person spirit. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading, Cancer. And if any of you are looking for uh, personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I can tell when you're speaking from your ego or higher self. Although I love your soul, I must admit, I don't like your ego. I'm involved with someone else and it wouldn't be fair to either of you to pursue a connection at this time. Maybe they had other options. Okay. I regret my past mistakes and I wish I can have another chance with you. I showed you how much I loved you through our kisses. They say if you want to know if someone loves you, it's in their kiss. Darling, my love for you was in my kiss. I can't ever kiss another like that. And the thought of you kissing someone else really breaks my heart. I hunger for your touch, your kiss and the warmth of your body. I want and I need you now. I only want two things in life. Everything that makes you happy and nothing that makes you suffer. I love you always and forever. I'm still healing. Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around. I wasn't ready for what you were offering. I feel ashamed of how I treated you. You did not deserve that. You're perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. You knowingly brought me into a clusterfuck of a situation. I trusted you to do what was right. And you let me down. Alright. So that's your dialogue message cards, uh, Cancer. If these were resonating, let's start the reading. But first, uh, of course, I'm going to take an angel blessing card for the viewer. Uh, this could be for you, Cancer. Maybe your cross watchers watching. So whoever's been drawn to this reading, this blessing, guidance, advice or message is for the viewer. And viewer, you get the card of vision. Uh, keep focusing on your future. Whatever you are deciding upon, think about it as to what it would feel like in two years, four years, five years. Where do you see yourself? Then make the decision. What's your vision? Okay. So, Spirit, now tell me. Uh, let's start with the first person's energy. Now, this could be you, Cancer, could be your person. I don't know. So, this is person A for me. Uh, four of Cups. What's the Four of Cups? Four of Cups. 
Yeah, I think person A, this is person A feeling I was very discontent in this connection. I think they were expecting uh, commitment, but uh, they feel the entire thing backfired on me. I think person A was manifesting commitment and that that person would, you know, step up. But they feel now that, no, I was fall dealing with a false person. They were just stubborn, egoistic, pretending to be somebody they were not. This connection was not built on any foundation that would grow. And yes, it's crumbled. Ten of Swords, yeah, they never got that offer. I think person A says they never gave me a stable offer and this connection is over. In fact, I'm not even waiting around for them anymore. Um, Kara Taro, I've stopped waiting. I'm choosing a different direction. I was emotionally unhappy in this connection, so I'm walking away. There was nothing to look forward to in my future. There was no vision. I had a dream. I had a dream that we would have the four of wands, but uh, they refused to change their ways. So person A says, yeah, I know the truth now. What's the truth? Yeah, the truth is that uh, they were dealing with the false person. So they are trying to reinvent themselves and have a brand new beginning elsewhere, take a leap of faith, totally transform their life. They've got their sword up and saying, you know, I'm going to now rebirth myself or I'm going to have a new beginning. I've got my boundaries in place. I see through the red flags. I was probably dealing with a false soulmate connection who just came to my life to break my heart. So person A is the one in that wheel of fortune energy where they are moving on and possibly getting a lot of good luck for standing up for themselves. It's almost like justice is, will be done in their favor where uh, the universe is going to reward them for standing up for themselves. Okay, so person B, where are you? What's going on with you right now? Five of Pentacles. So you are missing person A. You're now you're feeling abandoned and feeling left out and very trapped in your mind. I think they were hoping, wishing, praying that the other person would, you know, communicate with them or say something. But right now the communication is only in their head. They're doing all the question answers in their own head. They're feeling left behind. Uh, Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Now you know what? Now they're realizing why the tower happened. They are also going through a tower moment by, by realizing that uh, they breadcrumbed that person or they were giving to other people. I have a feeling that they were uh, maybe keeping their options open or they were treating their person like an option. They, they, they know that they were being very selfish in the past. Selfish, self-centered, you know, and treating their person like maybe just an option in their life and that's the reason this connection has halted. The truth was out and now things are not working between the two of you. Uh, tell me more, three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they, they are now reflecting, see, they are reflecting now, big time. They are realizing why they have been dropped, why has their person given up on them. Look at the amount of spiritual awakening that's going on. This person is now isolated, thinking about all the stuff that went on, why that person has blocked them. Uh, now they're realizing they disrespected a person who was worthy, who brought a lot to the table. So, okay, so let's see what, that's what's happening right now. So let's see what are your mutual energies are. So Spirit, tell me what are these three cards and what do they mean for the first person, the person A, who's the one who's saying, I'm moving on. Now, uh, this person says, I don't want to be single all my life. I think I already delayed things for enough time. Yeah, just repeating the same chapter over and over again. I think I've already delayed my future already. So I am not, I'm now releasing this toxic energy from my life who's coming in always with inconsistent behavior and uh, inconsistent communication and always creating chaos in my life. This is becoming toxic Omkara Taro and I'm losing my passion for this connection. I don't want to invest in this anymore. I've already wasted enough time, energy, effort on this. And um, they were never strong enough to stand up and be with me. Yeah, I, w I was discontent. I was very discontent. I didn't get the offer that I wanted. In fact, now I've kind of pulled back my energy and I've taken back my power. I've put a lid on that cup of love and I'm saving it all for myself. I'm going to pour all that love that I was giving to them onto myself for a new beginning. Yes, I do feel bad. Things never worked out. I felt betrayed. I felt hurt. They stabbed me in the back. None of my emotional needs were, you know, satisfied in this connection. But now that I know the truth, I'm now manifesting differently. So what are you manifesting? Magician. Getting out of feeling abandoned. 
feeling uh, getting out of uh, uh, feeling like they had to be chosen by somebody uh, maybe manifesting a brand new soulmate now manifesting justice balance and peace in their life manifesting the wheel of fortune good luck into their life okay so person b what do these three cards mean for you now tell me person b B, uh, nine of pentacles in reverse oh they want to rush rush towards person a they don't they, they want to catch person a before they are in another connection or they're not single anymore or something uh, they don't have the courage though yeah they don't have the courage or they're losing courage now because a they've recognized now now that they, they, they've been reflecting things seeing things from different perspectives they've realized that actually they do want this they do want a ten of pentacles they do want a stable future with person a they don't want to be a player anymore ever since i think they've lost person a they haven't been happy they haven't been they have we've been going through the dark night of the soul so they are also manifesting what are you manifesting person b what are you manifesting they also manifesting <laughs> tell me tell me tell me oh, okay they're manifesting healing to come back into this connection they're manifesting that uh, their person will put their guard down and things can move in a positive direction again. Uh, they are very angry right now at all the lies they told maybe. I think they, they either they don't have the clarity or they are angry at themselves for all the lies they told. Uh, they're not sure whether things are going to work out. So they are going back and forth as to what can I do now? How can I make this work? Because I think now they recognize that I do want this. They feel if they don't rush in now, they're going to lose out. They're going to lose out on this Ten of Cups and that person is going to absolutely walk away and maybe choose somebody else, choose another path, choose another direction. This person doesn't want this connection to end. I think they want to rush back in so that they can stop that person from moving on. So what's the Wheel of Fortune though, Spirit? Ooh ace of cups right under that i think this is person a moving on towards new love uh, wheel of fortune overall energy spirit okay uh -huh. see i knew it person a be careful person b is trying to come towards you with an apology and they're coming towards you with an apology because they don't want you to move on towards new love you have something very good coming towards you and they don't want you to get that i feel <laughs> so they may try and stop you in your tracks by saying you know let's end the fight or let's move on towards a better future and i'm sorry or whatever so well, they have good intentions i guess they've realized their mistake but uh, yeah it's like I don't know, it's a general reading, so I can't give any advice here, but they do want to come and apologize because they don't want you to move on towards anyone new. That's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.